Good night, kids. Sleep tight. But wait. Bedtime story! Bedtime story! Okay, we'll tell you a bedtime story. Better yet, we'll draw you one. Yay! Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, when science was invented, there were two royal families, the reverse transcriptases and the telomerases. The reverse transcriptases had an enchanted kingdom in prokaryotes and eukaryotes, with all of the nucleotides, amino acids, and protein subunits you could dream of. The reverse transcriptases had a beautiful family, two regal parents blessed with the handsome son. They named him Romeo. The telomerases too had a magical kingdom, enhanced by optimal pH and other cellular living conditions. Their family was also made of three, two noble parents and a charming daughter named Julia. Oh wait, we can't forget about their pet dragon though. His name was Arabidopsis. They ruled over the cellular components in actively dividing cells, such as gametes and immortal cells, like cancer and stem cells, all of the eukaryote type. For as long as they'd known, the two families were long pitted against each other. Ever since they diverged in the evolutionary path, they were never again seen in public together, never at magnificent feasts, extravagant festivals, or even at royal galas. But in a twist of fate, the two families would connect. Romeo and Juliet both attended the Xang School of Polymerase Activity, located in Eukaryotes. They knew they were supposed to dislike each other, but it was love at first sight, despite their differences. Juliet had never before noticed Romeo's two protein subunits, P51 and P66, each of which had four subdomains, fingers, thumb, palm, and connection. She was also captivated by his RNAs H domain. To the same end, Romeo had never until now gazed into Juliet's two subunits of Tert, each of which was larger than reverse transcriptase, and had two more structural and functional domains. One of her domains was an RNA binding domain, which allowed her to maintain a complex with her RNA subunit. She didn't even need to move along an entire mRNA. She was also blessed with a telomerase essential and terminal domain which contributed to interactions with the telomeric DNA primer. Unfortunately for her, Juliet lacked RNA-ACE-H domain, so she didn't have the RNA-ACE-H activity that gave Romeo much of his fame. Wait, Mom, what's an RNA-ACE domain for? Well, children, one of the many jobs performed by the Royal Reverse Transcriptase family was to degrade RNA from the RNA-DNA hybrid. These hybrids were intermediates for the prestigious cDNA library. This was done by the RNA-ACE H domain that all of the reverse transcriptases had. The telomerases didn't have the luxury of this domain. Anyways, back to the story. Romeo and Juliet had a steamy, er, um, passionate love affair. Though the girls flocked to Romeo and the boys never stopped chasing Juliet's turds, their love was as strong as ever throughout their schooling. After graduation, the couples talked about their future lives together. Their love was forbidden, but they believed there was a pathway. They planned their marriage on the break of dawn, on Molde, in the sacred temple of Plasmon 305. But now, both kingdoms had slowly come to know of their bond. The telomerases were not happy, and neither were the reverse transcriptases. Word spread quickly about their elopement, and neither family was going to sit idle. With only a day till the wedding, neither Juliet nor Romeo were anywhere to be found. The families realized that they would have to translocate to the Plasmin 305 temple the morning of the wedding to inhibit this activity. Plus the morning of Mole Day, and the two families raced up the three flights of stairs. Gasping for air, they walked in on the ceremony. Juliet Talamres was in a beautiful white dress, and Romeo had an enviable tuxedo. Stop this union! The parents cried in unison. The telomerases asked Juliet, How could you do this to us? You are our one loving daughter. Why would you marry someone from the evil family of the reverse transcriptases? The reverse transcriptases told their son, 
Romeo, we expected so much more from you. Your body is filled with pure proteins. You're nothing like the telomerases filled with those second-rate subunits. The children protested, but were quickly hushed by the families. You two are so different, your marriage would never end happily. Queen Telomerase explained that Juliet could only bind to ends of DNA, and that Romeo could only bind to mRNA. She even added that the reverse transcriptases were so impure that they couldn't even handle double-stranded polynucleotide chains. King Reverse Transcriptase insisted that some of the tel telomerases were greedy and helped organize uncontrolled cell division, which means cancer. The king boasted that the reverse transcriptases would never take part in such a barbaric act. Queen Reverse Transcriptase shared her husband's outrage. Romeo, you will outlive her. Your best years are ahead of you. As you get older, your reverse transcriptase activity will stay strong. Poor Juliet will see her telomerase activity wither away by that time. King Telomerase, also in anger, stated that Juliet has her own personal RNA primer embedded in her. Romeo and the reverse transcriptases don't even use their own primers. Instead, they are forced to use outsiders, such as Illegal DT. He also stressed the fact that the telomerases could change from organism to organism, having a, having a complementary RNA primer for each of the organism's telomeres. Reverse transcriptases were hardly that versatile, being highly conserved throughout their organisms. Queen Telomerase rambled on. We are so different, my daughter. Our activity introduces new sequences to this strand, and theirs doesn't. We add a limited number of nucleotides per strand. They add a full set of nucleotides to complement the mRNA. We maintain the size of existing DNA. They create a new strand instead of just maintaining one. We can undergo multiple events for one chromosome. They undergo one event per template. It's blasphemy! The parents were done explaining all the details and decided to lay down the most important differences in function. The role of the telomerase family was to prevent chromosome shortening in order to prevent, in order to stabilize the chromosomes in all the land. However, the reverse transcriptases played large roles in the replication of retroviral genomes in retroviruses, like in HIV, and also the transposition of retrotransposons. All the while, Romeo and Juliet had been listening quietly, silently sobbing. Romeo cleared his throat. Mom, Dad, I know that you only mean the best for me. You have been terrific parents, but the truth is that I love her. You don't realize, we are not as different as we seem. Now Juliet spoke up. It's true I am proud to be a telomerase, but I can't deny that I wouldn't give my life for Romeo. Our love is true. We are not different. We are all the same ilk. We possess turrets that are almost identical to reverse transcriptases as a whole. We are the same. I beg of you, please, listen. The parents stayed silent considering the young couple's explanation and obvious passion. After what felt like hours, the telomerase announced, maybe we're not so different. How about we set aside our differences and focus on our common background? We extend our hand in friendship and will support this union. The reverse transcriptases without hesitation exclaimed, Then it is done! Let Romeo and Juliet wed on this upcoming lunar eclipse and let our kingdoms experience a grand era of peace and prosperity. And Romeo reverse transcriptase and Juliet telomerase lived happily ever after. Here. Why did you end our story? Why'd your shirt change? Dad? I'm scared. <laughs>